Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I'm continuing the Zoho Desk series. It's a really important video today, something that'll save you a ton of time and effort and help you scale your support practices. And that is template management. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to create templates, how to store them properly, little tips and tricks I've seen over the years with template folder management. I'm also gonna go into how to use them properly, some keyboard shortcuts, and then also a neat feature called snippets, which isn't as scalable as templates, but it'll empower your users to have little keyboard shortcuts. So as always, please like, comment, and subscribe on today's video. And also below, you'll see an invite to our office hours. Feel free to come. A lot of you are coming now. It's super fun. I get to meet you. I get to give you one-on-one, -on -one, well, it's not one-on-one, -on -one, group setting feedback. And uh, yeah, it, it's uh, kind of a Zoom webinar where I can chat with you, get to know your business and try to help you out. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into this. So first step that you wanna do when you are working with templates is you're gonna hit settings. When you're back here, you'll see the section here called templates. So this is where you can build them, modify them, all kinds of stuff. So if I click on that, remember as I go through this, everything is department specific, right? So you could see there are many departments here that someone can choose from. So if you make a template, it will not automatically go into the other department. You have to make a different template. So what you see here is Zoho has all kinds of pre-built ones and you technically actually cannot delete them. So keep that in mind as you go through. These folders and these templates have to stay. But the first thing I always tell people to do is to go ahead and create a folder. So think of the type of templates that you're gonna make and you can technically put it in existing folders if you'd like. So you can see here the way Zoho's organized it, they have agent, so that's like internal notifications. Then they have external contact, secondary contact, team. So if you assign a ticket to a team, they'll all get that, right? So typically what I tell people to do is add a new template folder and Zoho will sort these folders alphabetically. So if you want it at the top of the ticket, you can go like AA dash contact emails, for example, right? And you're gonna wanna make it all agents in theory, but if there's only specific agents that you wanna be able to see this template, maybe higher ups in your company, you can also do that. So we hit save. So now we've created a template folder. The next step is to create a template. So when you're creating templates, you can see here, you can hit add template. You have to name it something. And again, this is alphabetical. So you can use, or numerical. So you can use numbers or letters. So I'll go A again, and I'll go canned response as an example. So this is what, what your staff will see, right? So the, the client doesn't see this name. You can put the default from here. And then if you leave the reply to empty, it'll just come back into your support desk, which is what you want. Now the subject line, you can, customize all you want. So number one, you can just write something static like we hear you, right? You can also insert a placeholder here. These are merge tags. And so you can actually bring data from the ticket or from Zoho Desk into the subject line. So for example, you could bring in the status or the ticket owner or the ticket ID, which is the ticket number into the subject line. Now, when you get to the actual message body, again, you can insert placeholders. So you could say, hi, and this is, this is a common one. So hi, first name. That is a great question, et cetera, right? And so this template, I would encourage you to write out, use as many merge tags as you can. At the end, you can also put like the ticket owner, their email, the agent details, uh, their name, all of all kinds of organizational details as well. Now, if the user actually has their signature set up in the signature setting, their, that user's signature will auto go in here. So you can preview it. If you want, you can actually insert some HTML in here, uh, over here insert HTML. So you could dress it up a little bit if you'd like. If you have developers or whatever that can code HTML, you can put it in here to make the template a little prettier. You can add attachments, you can add links, all kinds of stuff. So now when I hit save, now I've created my first template. So now if I go into a ticket, I wanna show you how to use this template, right? So I'm in a ticket here. I'm gonna actually hit reply on this ticket once it loads up. And now you can see here, there's a like a little flashy button here for templates. When I click this, you'll see here are all the templates, right? And so here's the folder I made. 
and here's the canned response. So your team can preview it before they send it and they can use this template and now it'll throw that in, right? So that's how easy it is. And the template management is really good. You can also star templates here. So you can star it and now it'll go up into here. So if you're finding yourself using them a lot, you can also search them, right? So you can go all the AAs and it'll show all the AAs. So you should have some naming convention internally that you come up with so you can search things easier. So that's templates. And again, they're department specific, but they're a really great tool. The other tool I wanted to show you that could empower your agents is snippets. So you can see here, templates are firm wide or whatever you set up in the settings there that I went through, right? So uh, whether it be uh, specific agents, all agents, or just one agent. Snippets are just for an individual. So you can add a new snippet here and they're really neat. So you could go quick R, for example, and you could actually put certain things in here. So what these are used for is if you're manually typing out something and you always want to put at the end of your manual typo, it's like, have a great day. You can put that here. And so now when I hit save, so maybe I just go QR to make it easy. So quick response, right? So now what happens is when I'm in here, you can see here, I can add, I can choose snippet QR. So now it'll throw that in. So it's a very easy way to actually insert stuff that you're typing all the time. Now, again, this is not firm wide, this is user specific, but a lot of our staff use it all the time because they have a certain way of talking or whatever. And so when they get to the end, boom, snippet and insert. So by following these couple principles, template, template management and snippets, your agents will be able to consistently respond to clients. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you and join my office hours. There's a link below. Uh, I'd love to meet you and answer any question you may have. Bye for now.